What's going on everybody? I'm Mo Heat, and as the channel name says, I'm here to turn up the heat on what it means to be an introvert. Listen, I'm putting one of these before every single video because I want you to understand that I'm an introvert. I get my energy from being alone, as most introverts do. That being said, that doesn't mean I don't love people. I love people. I love spending time with people. Pushing the boundaries of what us introverts can achieve through those interactions. I'm building this channel as not just a resource, but a network of young, driven, introverted people who know they want to do more in life, who have a greater calling. Stay tuned for the end of this video where I go into a lot more detail on what you can expect from this channel, what I'm all about. Today we actually have a really big announcement. For those of you who follow me on all the different socials and different platforms, you guys know that I've been teasing this quite a while now. We have all these things that I posted leading to this direct moment. We're going to talk a little bit about a new partnership we're forming here, something that is going to change the world and change the way that we view doing resumes, LinkedIn posts, things like that. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Before I do anything or talk about anything, let me invite my good friend Joshua Cohen on stage here. He's going to talk a little bit about his new business, the MBA. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. It's really incredible to have this opportunity to be able to just present you know, this idea and also just have a little bit of dialogue about the reasoning behind how this company really came into be in the first place. And so you mentioned the company name MBA, which of course is the Masters of Business Administration, or in this case, the name of the company, which is Mobile Business Advisor. And of course, the, the design of it is just a website that helps you with, with any kind of service you could need as a young professional trying to make it in the business world. And really our goal is just to help you succeed. So with that, kind of the topic I wanted to talk about today is why is it so hard to truly succeed within the business world? Oh, it's hard, man. It's hard. As a 21 year old, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's hard. Right. And I mean, it's really hard for anybody to know what, what they're doing or what their goal is in the business world. And it's really easy to just kind of drown in that metaphorical ocean of all those people, all those companies, all that information. And yet with all of those people and companies and all that information out there, it's still surprisingly hard to pretty much to make it right. and to get into those like Fortune 100, Fortune 500, to first of all get hired by those companies and then be at a level where you're high enough to be able to be promoted again and again and to essentially be able to make it and realize the American dream of finding success in the business sector. Right. Society One thing I wanted right. to mention is for those of you who have watched some of my other videos and I got some more coming about this, you guys probably know the fact that I hate the educational system and the way that they're teaching us professional development skills does not work. All of us are unprepared to do whatever it takes to get that job with a Fortune 500, 200, even Fortune 10 company. So therefore, this is why I think that this MBA business is so valuable. It's filling a gap in an area of education that we are not getting filled by the people who are being paid to do so. Right, and I mean, there'll be like individual programs at universities across the country that can help you and work one-on-one -on -one with you to crank out like that, that great resume for you. But the thing is, is that I have a hard time finding any place or any person that can just do all of it. Because success in business, from what I've learned so far in my life, and obviously there's a long way to go and what I have to learn, but what I've learned so far is that success and getting even to the first level, much less the level after that and the level after that, is just all in the details. That's what's so important is all of those little details coming together to create this story because there are so many people that go to business school and have whatever GPA and go to whatever business school, whether it's a top school or a mid-tier, bottom tier, whatever business school you go to and come out with a degree, there's so many people that are similar to you that are pretty much an identical file in every way. And so really the people that succeed in business are the people who are able to turn that file, in my opinion at least, into something more whether it's a story or just something that, that really stands out, that really takes them to the next level. And the thing is, it can't just be like one detail in that portfolio. Sure. Like a resume alone is a huge step, but it can't do the whole thing for you. It's about the resume, the interview, your cover letter, the whole thing when put together just has to show that you just have that, that you just have it. Because businesses look for people that are really gonna drive them into the future that really have it. and. I really think that so many people out there really do have it, but businesses have gotten so caught up in this process of when they bring people in, they have them fill out all this paperwork and all these essays and all this information, and it all just all becomes like a sea of overwhelming amounts of words and numbers and data. And at the end of it, like whichever college you go to, whichever degree you get, it doesn't really matter because when you're applying to those companies, you can still set, set yourself apart. 
even if your life experiences haven't been the best in terms of work right. experience and volunteering, I still definitely think it's possible to just essentially using a form of creative writing and just really portraying yourself on the paper really sets yourself out. Sure, it's funny that you bring up the whole storytelling aspect. That's something that I'm sure a lot of schools don't teach you, and I can vouch, I can vouch for that from personal experience. You know, I got my job with at t that's how I met Joshua. You know, we are here, I am here, not necessarily because of my past experiences, but because of the way that I'm able to market myself on my resume, my LinkedIn, my website, and during a job interview process. So that's a huge, huge step forwards that this service is offering. You know, it's giving you that ability to be able to market yourself, no matter your history. For those of you who know me, you guys know that I originally started college in game development and design. I eventually switched to finance. I think I mentioned that. Um, and now I'm doing sales. So there are a variety of steps I've taken in my past that make no sense. A lot of recruiters will look at that and they, they won't hire me at all. But I've been able to secure a Fortune 9 company job because of my resume skill set, my marketing skill set, my interview skill set, and things like that. And that's something, once again, that I've put huge value and emphasis into in terms of Joshua's service. So right. um, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about some of the specific attributes that you're going to be offering through your website. And we'll probably throw a little bit of it on screen here. Right. Um, we'll actually have a website walkthrough while we're talking about this. Definitely. And you know, the, the aspects of applying to a business, and really similar to the exact same things that we're offering with the service that we're providing, is every single thing you do as part of that business application process is essentially a stepping stone to the next part of the process. It's the fact that your resume has to be good enough to, for them to even bother wanting to read your cover letter. Or your LinkedIn has to be good enough in the first place for them to even want to give your resume a look, to get that in-depth look. And every single thing you do moving up that ladder, it's everything is a step just to get them to look at the next thing. And then of course the ultimate test is the interview, which is again something that we love to help people out with. And once you get to that interview, that's where it's your time to shine. Everything that's happened before that is now irrelevant. Of course, you have to pass all of these paper tests to get that actual interview, whether it's in phone, over Skype, or in person, or however that interview may happen to fall. It's really about getting to the interview, and then if you can really crush that interview and just show why you're different, show how you can bring a unique perspective and mindset, which everybody can. Everybody's from a different background. Everyone has a unique mindset. You just have to show it. Agreed. And that, that's really kind of what we want to do is we want to help people express that they're unique and we want to keep people from getting kind of lost in this ocean. Right. That being said, we both managed to find ourselves by getting this job at AT&T, which is the way that we met each other and how this relationship came to exist. But, you know, my path was similar to yours and like, I started with biochemistry, eventually found my way over to sales a couple major changes later and you know, was lucky enough to get this job at AT&T. And see, I say the words lucky enough, but at the end, it wasn't really luck, was it? We're very fortunate that we did the work ourselves and marketed ourselves right. to AT&T. And you know, fortunately, we were both blessed enough to have the tools to be able to craft that LinkedIn profile, that resume, that cover letter, to be able to crush the interview. That's just skills, we've, whether we pick them up over time or whether we're naturally gifted at them, whatever it may be, we've clearly demonstrated the fact that we are good enough at what we do to be able to end up here working at a Fortune 9 company, one of just the absolute goliaths in any business industry, really. And I don't know if you wanted to speak a little bit to the fact of kind of how that journey was kind of made a little bit easier when you have those tools. Sure, so I think that if I didn't have the appropriate resume, LinkedIn to initially get to the recruiter, I would have never gotten an interview. I mean, those were crucial things. Kim Donovan, my recruiter, you know, she was a huge resource, but she wouldn't have been that resource if I didn't initially market myself properly. And of course, I'll throw up my career fair video on screen here because that's where I met her. You know, I was able to have that conversation to show off my skill set and to show her the documents that I needed. I don't know if it was a similar situation for you, but that that's how I got in touch with the interview process. Of course, there were three, I think two or three different levels of it, including a market yourself presentation. I did the research and it took hours. That was the biggest problem. I would love to pay for a service that would do this for me in just a matter of hours or a matter of days. You know, having to make time to go to a career center where I'm gonna get the same advice that I'd probably be able to just do a couple hours of research and find online, it's useless. So a service like this, I would have greatly benefited from. Right, and you know, the really, the big idea kind of from all of this is that not every single person out there is a master LinkedIn profile builder. Not everyone out there can write a brilliant resume. Not everyone out there can put together that incredible cover letter that really says who they are to other companies. And it's just 
completely understandable that many people might not have that skill. But what that doesn't mean is that those people should not be successful. Because those are people that clearly have the potential to be successful, but just because they can't navigate their way through this, frankly, somewhat ridiculous process of interviewing and submitting all of this documentation sure. to working at these top companies, it's ridiculous they should have to do that to be able to get here. So our duty that we've tasked ourselves with and what we'd love to just help everybody with who needs that kind of assistance is just, we believe that you have the capability to be working at this level, 100%. And the fact is, some people just don't have a couple of very, very specific, minute skills that they need to get there, which once they get there are not relevant whatsoever. So we would just love to pretty much pick up that burden and help people navigate through those like oceans full of paper and applications or sure. whatever it is, your resume, your cover letter, the job interview, you know, the application to the job itself, whatever it may be, you know, all the people who work on my team who are working with me, who are right behind me, you know, including myself or people that have proven themselves in whatever industry they're pursuing. They're people who have had their resumes, LinkedIn profiles, cover letters, job applications, accepted to Fortune 10 companies, to Fortune 500 companies. You know, there are people who have applied to different universities across the United States and been admitted to multiple Ivy League schools. Right. And I mean, it's just these people who are willing to spend a little bit of their time on the side to step back from that business life that they were fortunate enough to have the skill set to be able to jump into, to help out other people who just aren't fortunate enough to have that skill set. Right. So we're just pretty much trying to make that skill set a factor that's not a factor in the right. equation of people applying to jobs. Because when we craft your resume, for example, everything that is said in the resume is truly things that you, whoever you are, have done. We're not like just creating a resume yeah. of some Sometimes random brilliant it's, it's person. It's even a matter of organization that can get that can make the difference between you landing a job or not. If your specific skill set isn't in the right place or isn't in a spot where the recruiter is going to initially look at when they first look at your resume, they might discard the whole resume, even though the experiences that they are looking for might be at the bottom. So it's little things like that that could turn a recruiter away from hiring you, but you are qualified for the position. Right. Or even if it's a job that you've had that is a great fit, but maybe it just isn't framed or worded the right way or just presented right. in the right way to make it a good fit for the job you're applying for. Because really the thing that I learned, like, you know, a previous job I had was in the financial planning industry, which is an industry that's really somewhat unrelated to anything I've done since then. Like it was a, you know, a fantastic time and I don't regret it whatsoever. It just isn't where I see my future. It's not where my passion lies. So, but I was able to take that experience and put it into my resume and just spin it in a way without telling any mistruths or any misguidances at all. Sure. Just able to frame it in a way that, you know, made it Makes sound it stand like, out. you know, stand made it out. stand out. It made it stand out. Exactly. And it really made me stand out because saying that I'd had that experience and the way that I spun it and the way that I framed it, just in the way I used it to present myself and how I tied it all together, really helped set me apart. And it was even brought up in my interview for this job that that work experience that I had there was tremendous and really a big factor of why I got as far as I did in the interview process. Of course, my interviewing skills had to take me from there to the finish, but that really was, in their own words, a tremendous step to how I got this job here at AT&T, which is just fabulous. That's something that's so fundamentally unrelated to what I'm doing here helped me get here. Josh, I know you talked a little bit about some of the specific services you're offering. Can you talk a little bit about how viewers who want resume help, who want LinkedIn help, who want social media at advising help, things like that, can get started with your service. What do they have to do? We'll throw a demo up on screen, of course. Can you guide us through that process a little bit? Definitely, I mean, the process is, I mean, we're trying to make it as easy on you as possible because we understand whether it's you wanna spend time with your friends, whether you're busy with school, whatever it may be, we just wanna make this as easy of a process for you as possible and you know keep it at those affordable prices to whatever economic status you're currently at. And so the way that we, operate is you'll check out our, our website, which is uh, mbusinessadvisor.com, and once you are on our page, then you can check out the services tab or even from that front page using the get started button, and then it shows you pretty much our suite of products, our portfolio. And the services that we offer are anything from, we help you with your college applications, we help you with a job application, resumes, LinkedIn, interview practice, whatever it may be. and. Once you click the service and you've decided that you wanted to complete your purchase, you 
click the button, you enter your email address as part of completing that purchase, and then you receive an email from our support team. And that email, depending on which service you buy, for example, for resumes, will ask you a series of targeted questions, and all you have to do is respond to that email with your responses to the questions that we've asked you, which is how we create this resume based on you and at your actual experiences. So it's not just creating this fictitious document of some person that you actually are not, who you can't back up right. in an interview. We're actually using the responses to the questions that we've sent you to create this resume that is actually a reflection. You guys of you. get the experiences. Him and his team will handle the organization, all those minute details. Right, and it's about putting that, for resume, it's about putting that document together, having it look clean, having it look nice, presentable, and having everything framed the right way, organized the right way, set up the right way. And this is something that everybody on my team has clearly demonstrated that they have a mastery of. Even other than those resume building services, all of our other services operate in some kind of similar manner, whether it's the interview and we'll schedule it with you and get that practice in or whatever it is. And you know, with any of these documents that you are helping us create on your behalf, we'll get them back to you within three business days just to give us a little bit of time to really put it together and make that perfect document to get back to you. Sure. And I mean, kind of the entire concept of this business is just our belief that more people should be able to succeed. It shouldn't just be those people who can write a good resume that make well, it up to the top. It really should be the people that genuinely have worked hard and deserve to be there. Who may not necessarily have the skills, the access to the skills, or the access to where to find the skills of exactly how to market themselves, how to communicate themselves, things like that. This website will help you do that. You know, again, one thing I like to say, um, and I haven't said this in any of my videos yet, I can make an entire video on this, but I won't ramble on about it, is that you need to, in order to be successful, you need to be willing to spend a little bit of money here, save a ton of your time, and, and invest in the t that time that you're never getting back with just maybe spending $10, $20 here, save you a little bit of time on one simple thing that you shouldn't be spending too much time on in the first place. Right, and I mean, I'm talking about return on investment, for example, is the services we provide really could just help you get that, that next promotion or just get that job at the big company, whatever it may be. And so it really, at the end of the day, is not a terribly large investment. And of course, with this kind of service, it's really all about you and what you would like us to do for you, honestly. Right. And it's whenever we have this transaction, it's always a 100% satisfaction guarantee basis, always. If you receive your resume from us and you just see some ways in which it's just not quite what you're looking for, you'll just respond to our email one more time and be like, hey, this is like what I'm not quite feeling right. You know, we'll just rework it, whether it's sending it to a different member of support, putting a couple heads together to work through it, or just taking that feedback you gave us to rework it and make it the best version right. it could be. We'll just continue that process until you have really exactly what you're looking for. Sure, it's great that you mentioned that, Josh. One thing that I think I'm sure a lot of viewers and users might have questions too is exactly where would they go to get support you know, once again, for a product they already ordered, or if they just have questions about your service in general, how is that contact line gonna work? And of course, we'll throw it up on screen. Here. Right, definitely. So to contact us anytime regarding anything that has not yet been purchased, there's a, a contact us link there on the website, just on the home page. There's a little contact us box down at the bottom. And then also outside of that, if you are in the process of working with us with an order, it's very clear in those email instructions that we're including to you, just how you can stay in touch with us throughout that whole process. And you know, we have sure. our team that is constantly looking for those incoming emails and we can't promise we'll get back to you, you know, within a minute 24 seven, but you can always respect, expect a response from us within 12 hours at the most. Hey, if you, if you tell all your buddies about it, if you tell your family about it, you tell your younger siblings about it, you know, if they grow up and start using it, if this gets big enough, then yeah, of course you'll have the 7, 24, 7 service. That should be the goal. That should be the right. goal, guys. Right, of course it's the goal. But, you know, for a new up and coming business, I would just love to give people the tools to be successful in business. And you never know, hopefully one day I'll be in a position where I can hire somebody who's watching this right now. And I can have helped them create a successful career in business and then hopefully I could bring somebody that have helped along the way back on board to of kind of complete the cycle. Awesome, awesome, Josh. Well, thank you so much for talking a little bit about this platform. You know, once again, we're gonna throw the link up on the screen. We're gonna have the link in the description below. Um, thank you so much for your time, for your presence here. Definitely. Um, one thing that I just wanted to say once again is that um, this service is something that I wish that I had. You know, growing up, 
going through college applications, you know, which is something that you mentioned earlier, just social media. I had a lot of bulk on my social media, things that should not have been on there. You know, I had to do hours of research once again, as I mentioned earlier, to, to get rid of all this stuff, to have resume help, to have career building help. This is stuff that took years of learning and to be able to pay for this service, to be able to talk to, talk to a representative, to be able to get that human help from someone who genuinely cares, you know, I think that would help a lot and go a long way. So, you know, one thing that I just want to say to wrap this up is, you know, Joshua is a really good man. You know, he has been working on this. This is kind of his brainchild that he's had going on for a long while. Um, and the moment he started talking a little bit about this, the moment we started talking a little bit about this partnership, you know, it's something that I knew that would fit perfectly into this channel as he knew, you know, from the beginning, given that I'm sure a lot of you subscribe because this is in introverted professional personal development things like that but of course introverts aren't our only target we want to target 7.5 billion people across the world if we could get even one user to start using it you know that really does make a difference because at the end of the day that's what the service is all about so with that being said josh do you have any final comments here you know i don't have too much to add other than I mean, thank you so much for having me, first of all. And second of all, I just, at the end of the day, this service is really all about helping you. It's not about you just coming on and paying some money to you know, help my business or even just to support this YouTube channel or whatever the reason is. This is a service that really exists fundamentally to help young professionals succeed. I mean, anybody who is a young professional that is trying to become successful, this is something that's at least worth taking a look at and seeing if it's worth a little bit of investment. And if you think it's worth a shot, we just promise we'll make it worth your while. But exactly. once again, thank you so much for having me. No problem, Josh, no problem. And with that being said, you know, once again, I'll throw everything up on screen. Definitely check this out, guys. I myself am probably gonna be using this now that I still have one more year in college. So, you know, this is a one year long, like one year long trial. Um, we're gonna see how it works out and we would very much appreciate if you guys could tell people about it The more users we get using this the more people that we're helping It means that we can help more people along the way and this YouTube channel will be one of the first places That you can hear a lot about new developments new products new items new services things like that You know this business just launched this morning once again check it out support our fellow peers support yourself support us Let's get this community of young professionals growing and let's work together to build a better and brighter world of people that are educated in the ways of what it takes to succeed professionally and personally. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for your time. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. You know, once again, this is just a small snippet of what to be expecting from me and this channel. You know, we're all just a bunch of introverted nerds just trying to find success and leave our footprint in the same way as our extroverted counterparts. You know, whether that looks like starting a business or just finding the right job. This channel is going to focus on providing a ton of professional and personal development contents for all of my fellow peers out there, people who are going to be the future leaders of the world. Let me just say that I'd love to have a conversation with each and every single one of you. So go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Share your success stories, your dreams, your goals. Let's talk about all of that. You know, this is what really pushes people forward. This is gonna help build a community. At the end of the day, I can only share what my experiences have been thus far, but you guys have so many different experiences outside of that. I'm constantly learning and growing every single day, so I'll always have tons of ever-changing content on this channel to put out there. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for all support that's been shown so far. As all of us introverts recognize, you know, a little support can really take people a long way, and that's what I really hope to be sending around as we work together to build this community. So with that, go ahead and subscribe, like, dislike even, follow, comment, and share around with your friends and family. Let's all work together to assemble the future leaders of tomorrow and get this movement going.